Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, market outlook time. Monday's a big day on FIFA Ultimate Team. We're gonna talk about content coming today, weekend league sell off that is happening Sunday night, and just dropping prices in general across the market. And also, we need to talk about a out of pack stuff for Syria and League Un. And a lot of people are investing in this stuff, and it's kind of getting to a point where I'm feeling a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit iffy about it. I feel like there's going to be more over investing, kind of like the Bundesliga. So we're going to talk about some cards tonight, talk about some things where you still might be able to invest, and also talk about if there is over investing, how you can combat that, and we'll be able to watch that throughout the first couple of days of this week um, with prices rising and how that happens. But first thing I do want to do is take a look at the Serie A team of the season as it is dropping out of the weekend league. Uh, Gomez 874. This guy was 1.1 mil, like to start things off. Hernandez 355. You know, a lot of these cards are very cheap. This team of the season as a whole is very, very cheap in price. Um, nine goal and 830k is down a bunch. Um, Ronaldo 6.6 .6 is dropping. Is this actually under 6.6? .6? Is he 6.5s? He is 6.59. I would expect this card to probably drop a little bit more uh, throughout this week. I would imagine. Uh, just a little bit, but a lot of these prices are probably going to hit their lowest. For the cards that are meta that a lot of people want to use, like a Dybala, Milinkovic Savage, Gomez, maybe even like uh, Teo Hernandez, Manolas, Smalling, most of these cards are going to hit their low between tonight and between Monday and Tuesday time frame, as a lot of people will be waiting for that guaranteed SBC again, as we've been talking about every week, to buy these cards. But what we've started to see is people are catching on to this trend. So they're starting to buy these cards earlier. Last week, uh, if I remember correctly, the cheapest price time for the Bundesliga cards was actually on Monday. So today was actually the cheapest time frame for the TOTS cards last week. Is that going to be the same thing for Serie A? That's a big if. I don't know. The thing that scares me with this entire Serie A team of the season is the lack of hype for most of the cards in this squad. How do I tell there's a lack of hype? Because the prices are so stinking cheap, dude. You're telling me Milinkovic Savic, who has had an inform and like one other special card all year. I mean, he did have his storyline, the 88 rated, um, the, the milestone or whatever you call it. Um, but he's only had a team of the week moments and an inform. And this team of the season card is 310,000 coins. For that kind of card i know he doesn't really fit the meta and there's a lot of other cards out already um but it seems to me that the syria squad just doesn't have that much hype even again i keep going back to this manolas card bro the fact that this card is under 200,000 coins is crazy to me this Taz card is wild as a center back incredible statistics uh 194,000 coins this is crazy right um but what this also means is if there are cards that are uh, desired by a lot of people this week that people actually want to use that are in this cheap of a price range, like Smalling. I would expect Smalling to rise this week. I would expect Quadrado to rise this week. Even guys like Insigne uh, or somebody like Teo Hernandez, they're all under 500,000 coins. So that means there's not a lot of tax. So if this card goes up to 225,000 coins after weekend league rewards, which I think is pretty possible, depending on how low it drops this week, he could go to 175k, maybe at his all absolute lowest, 180k, and then rebound back over 220,000 coins and be pretty investable and maybe even profitable later on this week. So there is probably some moves we can make with these TOTS cards. Daily flipping, that will be a bit risky. We just have to kind of judge the hype. But we'll talk about that uh, later in the week, maybe on tomorrow's video, because that is some trading that I saw done and I did myself last week on Tuesday and Wednesday with the guaranteed SBC. So we'll talk about that. But just cut, these cards are probably just going to keep dropping uh, or just kind of like what we've seen the past two weeks is they just kind of trickle down. They stay in their like low range for the next two days or so until that guaranteed SBC comes out on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Speaking of SBCs, though, today on Monday, we are going to be getting the upgrade packs, the first set. So we'll get two SBCs of upgrade packs. Um, I don't know what type they're going to be, honestly. I have a hunch, and this is based on the pattern that, that it has been the past couple weeks. Whatever the, so like we have the uh, Serie A Challenge SBC, right? Whatever Challenge SBC comes out for the prior league on Thursday. So for the Bundesliga, last Thursday we got an 83 plus Bundesliga card. That SBC 
the pack reward from that SBC has been reused for the next league on Monday for the past two weeks. So one week we got an 80 plus. What did we see last week? We had the 80 plus player pick. This last Thursday, we had an 83 plus guaranteed Bundesliga player. If our upgrade SBC is an 83 plus Calcio A player today, and they don't change the requirements, and they make it just 11 gold Serie A rares, that pack is going to be pretty juiced. Because think about how few... I know Serie A has a lot of fodder cards, right? I mean, you've got Pjanic, you've got Lukaku's gold card, you've got Eber's gold card, you've got a chunk of 83s and 84s that you could definitely pack. But an 83 plus pack just from the Serie A, that takes your all your 83 pluses and really narrows it down to just a few of players. I feel like that pack would be pretty OP. I don't know if they would make that 11 rares, and I don't even know if that's going to be the pack. But that's just something to look out for today. My favorite would be if they did a double 82 plus and if they did an 81 plus SBC. That's the perfect combination because we are also, based on the loading screen, if it's still there, we are getting two, not one, but two minor league team of the seasons today. So I hope for the upgrade pack, the secondary one that they do is a good one because I would like to pack some Eredivisie and some, uh, some Chinese league tots as well. If the loading screen is still here, it is. In the bottom right, you can see Air Divisi and CSL. Does this mean we're getting two squads or a joint squad? My feeling is they're going to combine those two squads, only put probably 10 or 11 players in packs, and kind of do it like they did with Liga Nos, um, but just have basically two different leagues inside of one squad. Does that make sense? So maybe a squad of 11 players, one entire side is Air Divisi, one entire side is uh, CSL. That's kind of how I'm feeling it. I don't know if we'll get two full squads. If we do, that'd be dope. But I don't know how realistic that is to be thinking in that way. But we we can't expect those two sets of team of the seasons today. Speaking of Liga Nos, Tellez, the guy that we talked about investing in uh, on Sunday, my guy was around 380 to 390 most of the day on Sunday. And he has risen up already on both consoles. You can see he hit 384 at one point. During squad battle rewards, there were some undercuts. We were watching it live on stream. He's up only around 20k on the PlayStation, but on the Xbox, this guy is up 30,000 coins. He was 330, and now he's up to 364. And I thought this was a decent investment. I didn't like really say it was amazing to you guys, like I didn't press it or push it. Uh, but a lot of people are using Telez, and this card is absolutely cracked. Um, so that's why I think you're seeing an initial rise on this. If you did buy Telez, right? If you see Talos go back down this morning when the video is out, there could be. There's usually a second round of supply from squad battles. You might see him drop a bit then. I think if you're investing in this card for your pur for purely profit purposes, I would sell it on Thursday after rewards because we're going to get more left backs, more new TOTS cards coming on Friday with League on. So I would sell this card on Thursday regardless. Unless you're going to play with him in your team, then you can hold on to him like I am. But if you invested in Telos or any of these cards, maybe even Corona as well, Corona, you could probably hold on to if you wanted, because he's almost S he's basically SBC fodder as well. But you might want to just uh, think about if you're seeing a decent amount of profit on Wednesday, Thursday. Think about selling those cards then, just because um, whenever a new team of the season comes on Friday, people sell stuff to go try new cards or to go buy new things or whatever. So you see drops in prices somewhere else on the market. Uh, I saw that with my right back Mariano, so that's why I'm saying you probably want to cash out on Thursday when it should be the highest for that card. Anyways. Uh, out of pack stuff, all right? This is the biggest thing that so many people are talking about right now on FIFA. Out of packs specials from the Serie A and from Ligue 1. And you're like, yo, Ligue 1 is next week. Why are we talking about this? Well, the last two weeks, what we've seen is the specials for the league coming out the week after start to rise the week before because so many people are trying to make coins and invest in this stuff. I have a couple Serie A specials. I really only bought one more card today. I bought one. Juan Jesus at 50,000 coins. I don't even think I'm going to invest in a lot of this stuff, right? What did I tell you guys in my video yesterday? I told you it was going to rise. I didn't expect it was going to rise this fast. I thought you were we were going to have like tonight to see the low prices and to be able to buy some of these cards. But look at Lozano already, man. Lozano, the foot birthday uh, right wing card was 60,000 coins yesterday. My dude is up like 15K. He's like 75,000 coins right now this is ridiculous this is rising purely based off of hype right uh and how much hype have we seen so far and how much hype have i talked about for the Serie A tots cards not a ton i feel like there's over investing gonna happen again 
this week with Serie A specials and Serie A informs out of pack stuff. There's going to be some stuff that still rises up after awards on Thursday, but I think a predominant amount of the rise that you're going to see is going to be um, in the first few days up until Wednesday. Honestly, like the shapeshifter Mertens was such a big shout for a lot of people. So many like traders and Patreons and Twitter accounts. Everybody on foot was recommending this Mertens card to be an investment, right? This guy was 120K last week. He's 160K now. Is that what I'm seeing? Wow, man. This guy, this guy just keeps rising. People keep buying these cards up. At some point, it just becomes too much, right? At some point, it becomes over-invested. I don't think you'll see a lot of selling unless we would get a left-wing SBC or a Serie A Tots card or something Serie A related this week. I think these card, this card right here especially is probably going to rise up to maybe 170,000 coins, uh, maybe 165, 170 on a Wednesday right before Weekend League sell-off. And then it's probably a weekend league rewards, excuse me. And then it's probably going to drop as everybody who bought this card, they've been told, hey, sell it Thursday after rewards come out. They start listing and their cards start dropping in price because people just keep over undercutting each other. They want their card to sell and that drives the price lower. So that's how the over investing situation hurts the market is that people, when they invest in something, they're trying to make coins, right? And if the coins that they were thinking they were going to make, aren't actually coming to them, they panic and keep undercutting until it sells. And then they realize, oh, I'm losing coins and this sucks basically. So this Mertens card is, is a, on a lot of people's radars. Are there some other Serie A specials that could still do good? The answer to that is yes. The answer to that is yes, but it's going to be hard to pick those out. You have to really, really look at meta, really look at hype and which cards people are going to be using to link together this week if they're building a team or they need to put a squad together. I like this nine Golan headliner, but it's already up. He was 225, 230 um, on Saturday. Honestly, Saturday and Sunday morning. He was like 10K cheaper than what he is right now. I think this card could be like 270,000 coins after rewards just because he's very rare. I know a decent amount of people have invested in him, but his Tots card is 800K and this card is only 240,000 coins and it's club 80. It is very good enough to um, link up with guys in the Serie A. And of course, I've seen some Belgian link up play in teams. I've seen Vitzels, KDBs, and Nangolans all used in multiple different squads this weekend. So I feel like that brings an uh, added extra level of hype maybe to his card as well. So this is one that I do think has possibility to rise. Uh, and then Douglas Costa, Douglas Costa, as long as we don't get a some sort of a Serie A left wing SBC, uh, this guy's still right around 330,000 coins. Uh, he is a very meta card, very good, five star, five star. Of course, this guy was like extinct at like however many, 600, 800,000 coins or whatever it was um, when he first came out during for birthday. I feel like this card has potential to possibly rise up a little bit as well from where he is at now. Uh, but for most stuff in this Serie A, I think it is going to be over-invested. And if you see your card rise, like like let's, let's say you're talking Juan Jesus. Like Juan Jesus is somebody who is not really up. Do I recommend this investment? Not really. Because, I mean, he is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other Serie A center backs that are in TOTS. But there's four Serie A center backs that are in TOTS and they're very very cheap. So this guy was 40k last week. He's in the 50s this week. Uh, very popular and very good card in this game. But I just don't know how much rise we're going to see here. And if there's a lot of people that are buying these cards, it, whatever Serie A specials you're looking at, maybe the the, the Hot Bauer. I seriously don't know how to say this guy's name, right? Somebody in the comments, tell me how to say this guy's name. Hans Hot Bauer. I butchered it. I butchered it. Uh, this guy was 136,000 coins on Friday after being panic sold because people realized, hey, this guy's nobody wants him because we have Quadrado now. Uh, this guy's already up 10,000 coins. He's probably going to be invested in, over invested in again because I pe think people, if you're going to use a Serie A right back this weekend, are going to use Quadrado. But he is the only other option, so it seems like a decent investment. Just watch your cards this week. If you're buying Serie A specials, there's still some out there that are decently low. Search the market, maybe try to find some of those, right? But if you're buying these cards, if they rise up a decent amount and you're making a chunk of coins by the time that Wednesday rolls around 415 for Tonali is, uh, should I be buying this right now? I mean, technically the next cheapest one is 435. So I almost have my tax covered right there, but what has he been today? Should I be buying this 430? 
Uh, he, he got hit because of the SBC. Oh my gosh, man. He was actually lower, man. He was, he was 382 earlier today. I don't want to buy this, but this is probably, I'm not going to see one lower than this later this week, unfortunately. Um, but just what, there is some stuff that is a little bit low still and has a possibility to rise. But if your card rises a decent amount into Wednesday and Thursday, I think I would take the hype and I would sell it. I honestly think I would, because there's a lot of over investing. Now I want to talk about league one as well, uh, to end this video off. This is the number one most popular investment out of packs for this next week. Look at these Mbappes, bro. Wow, this one didn't get insta-bought. When I was looking at this earlier today, Mbappe's gold card and Neymar's gold cards were getting insta-bought. Any undercut at like in under 210,000 coins, this guy was getting insta-bought like right away. A lot of people are buying Mbappes. A lot of people are buying Neymar's for out of pack investments because they know these guys are probably gonna be out of packs for two weeks because of League on Tots next week and then Ultimate Tots the week after. Do I think this is a good investment? I think it's a good investment because they're going to be out of packs for two weeks. Ooh, that was a close one. At like 205,000 coins for this card, 205 on the PlayStation and like 150 on the Xbox. 150, 160, I guess. Um, he was 140 earlier today on Xbox and he's already risen back up. He was around 200K all day on the PlayStation and he's up 10K. A lot of people are just buying this card and Neymar out of packs. Um, and it makes sense why they'd be buying him, right? But there's a lot of people doing it and that kind of scares me. I know the VVD investment was very good, which is why these have appeal still. So if you want to snag one, this is what I did. I snagged a Neymar at 307 or something and I got an Mbappe at 207, I think. So I got one, chucked it on the transfer list. If it does well, it does well. But I'm just really unsure at how the League Un special cards uh, are gonna do this week. If you haven't bought already, some of them have already started to go up, like this, um, not Benyat, Bernat, right? The uh, left back for PSG. Where's this guy at, man? Am I spelling his name wrong? Bernat? Juan Bernat, there it was. I couldn't find him. What the heck, man? Uh, this guy's future stars, or no, winter refresh, was like 20 in the 20,000 coin range last week. And now he's 34,000 coins. He's already up a little bit just because of links. I just don't know how I feel about this stuff, boys. I think I would take the safe route and maybe not buy it because we just don't know what else is going on this week. Instead of buying stuff earlier this week, if you're going to stay cautious like I am, what we can do is there's going to be a lot of French links that rise later on this week. Just French cards, not, ju not just um, like League Unspecials, just French cards in general. So I think that is an overlook investment at some places on the market right now, because I feel like everybody's focusing on leagues, right? Syria, League Un. But French cards are going to be massive in this next week, because think about all the French nationality links that people are going to need. A lot of people already have French cards in their club, right? Um, a lot of like French has been, think about foot birthday when like every single card we had was French in the squad, right? There's a lot of French links. And I think there's going to be a rise on some of those cards, especially icons in this next week for Ligue 1. Like if you pack Mbappe and if you pack Ben Yedder, and let's say you've got like, uh, you've got Ramos and you've got Carvajal and Militao and Tellez, you're like, okay. I don't link to any of those guys. I need a maybe an icon center mid or icon CDM to put in my team to link my Ben Yedder with my bottom guys, you know? So I feel like the French links in general are going to do well next week. So maybe start to eye some of those cards if you can't find any Serie A specials this week. Um, but yeah, for this week, boys, basically, again, upgrade packs are today. Hopefully they give us good ones. Hopefully it has the same requirements. If you have Serie A golds, uh, a lot of these guys, I think are around they're actually kind of cheap am i hearing that there's still like one point are they one seven okay so a lot of these guys are like 1.7k so this is basically a cop and cart or a carbon copy of last week with the bundesliga these guys last week were 1.7k and um they rose to like 2.1 2.2 and they rose up a little bit more like tuesday night into wednesday is when the gold rares hit their highest i think maybe wednesday night they went a bit higher um but if you invested in Serie A and your Serie A rare golds and your prof, your point is to make profit. If you just bought these cards and you want to sell for profit, I would sell them later on in the week if you can. If you just bought a bunch of rares to do SPCs, that's fine. League on rares, you can keep stocking up on those. 1.5k or below is like my sweet spot um, for those as well. I know tons of people are going unassigned with those rares. 
Uh, but hopefully we can start to use those rares in an SBC that does come out today. I would expect I would expect a flashback and a player moments SBC to come out at some point during this week as well. Uh, we already got a Tots moments and we've got a flashback uh, and a team of the season Lukaku. So we've got three in a row SBCs. I would expect one or two more. One or two, maybe just one more. Probably on like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And then an SBC refresh as well like they've been doing with the League SBCs. I would expect a League SBC refresh for the Serie A, which could be interesting. See who they put out uh, for that. If you invest in League SBCs or mess around with any of that stuff, that could be some market movements that you see. And then, yeah, for the rest of the week, boys, uh, it's just honestly the guaranteed SBC on Wednesday, which is probably going to be 86 rated. Let's take a quick look at fodder, right? I keep bouncing around and saying it's the end of the video, but it's actually not because there's more stuff to talk about. Um, the only fodder that I see is viable right now that would be profitable in the short term would be 86 rated players. Uh, 13,000, 14,000 coins a pop for these, especially the screen ER for me is a massive buy. 15K for that center back with whatever SBCs could be coming out later this week. That's still a dub, uh, in my opinion, if we do get more SBCs. And for the guaranteed with chemistry, that could be a W. But then also think about maybe some Bundesliga links because people just got Bundesliga cards in their club last week. They might be turning those in for an SBC. So maybe a Muller or maybe a... There's somebody else that is a decently high rated from the Bundesliga. Oh, Werner. Werner and Muller might be decent buys uh, for SBC fodder if you wanted to kind of particular look at one or two of those. But I would expect that SBC for the Serie A to be probably 86 rated or 87 rated. They might push it to 87 because of Ronaldo, but it would be a scam if it was 87 rated. I know 87s are cheap right now, but if that SBC costs more than 200,000 coins, that is a scam because look how many cards you have under 200K in here. Manola, Smalling, DeVry, uh, Chesney, Ilicic, Handanovic, Acherbi, Quadrado, Pellegrini, Berardi. So 10 cards under 200,000 coins. So that's probably where EA will price it because it'd be... You know, everybody's still going to do it, though, regardless, because you have a chance of packing Ronaldo and Dybala and Mart and Lotaro and those guys. But a lot of us are going to be seeing the DeVry, the Acherby, the Handanovic, the Pellegrini. You know what it is. So that's what I would say about that. 86 or 87. If you want to go buy some fodder for that uh, to prepare, 86s are still kind of low. 85s are a bit inflated. 84s are a bit inflated. Hopefully we get some pack supply tradable this week. Maybe drop those a little bit. I know it's been a long video, but there's a lot to talk about and we'll continue to cover it later on this week on the channel. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.